<laughs> um, a guinea is an old measure of currency that we still use today. It represents a pound and five pence. Um, historically, it used to be the um, 21 shillings or a pound and a shilling. And the, uh, the way we used to work was that the vendor kept the pound and we kept the shilling as our commission. Bid me one. How about her? Bid me one. What about a couple of million to start her? I'll follow in one. A million if you like. Follow in one million. One million. There are different styles within Europe. There are some sales companies that use bid spotters um, to actually take the bid, much like they do in the Southern Hemisphere. Um, we've always uh, thought that the, the best way is for have, to have the actual bidder um, connect with the auctioneer so that they have a relationship while the horse is being sold. You know, for these better horses, I like to give them a little bit more time. And, you know, maybe it's something that's a little bit unique to Tattersall's that um, there's that little bit of theatre, you know, for, especially for some of those big lots that you, uh, yeah, if somebody wants to take a little bit of time, you know, to have a think about whether they want another bid, then, you know, we can give that time. At 800,000, I'm going to get now at 800, 800, 850, 850 bid, 9, 900 now. At 900, I'm going to get now at 9, 9, 1 million, 1 million bid. At million guineas is a bid now at 1 million, a million 1, a million 1 now. A million 1 is a bid now at a million 1, a million 1, a million 1, a million 2, a million 2 bid. A million 2 is a bid now at a million 2, a million 3, a million 3 left handed now. A Other sale rings, they just stand the horse up. Um, and I guess if you're going to walk the horse around, it makes some sense to have some sort of centerpiece. Um, and historically, it's always been straw in the middle there. Again, other people have little flower beds and pots, but um, sort of little flower beds and pots can get quite messy when you get a horse that uh, mm -hmm. doesn't want to stand where you, you want to put it. So um, it's probably a mixture of, of history and, uh, and practicality. The fox is part of our logo, which you will see, um, especially on the rotunda, which again is, is our the Tattersall's logo. It's the fox that sits on the top of it, and it is it represents our historical ties with hunting. So the rotunda dates back more than 200 years, was with us in Hyde Park Corner and Knightsbridge Green. And, you know, in those early days, Tattersall's was somewhere where you sold packs of hounds, hunting horses, carriages, all those sort of things. A lot of things that are related to um, the sport of hunting. And so, you know, historically our ties were, were very strong with that. So that's what it represented. Um, and whilst we have no sort of formal connection with hunting today, um, we still maintain that as our logo.